There's a push to make it easier for individuals to migrate to Australia to fill job vacancies. A joint standing committee is backing the removal of roadblocks to keep regional businesses afloat. Many regional businesses are reliant on migrants to fill positions. This is a job that I think Australians very often won't do because it's mm. dirty work, it's smelly work, it's hard work. Which and is so, so silly. It, it is silly. I mean, you know, uh, what happened to the, 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 the Australian work ad attitude? Yeah. Uh, whereas what's great about some of these migrants, they are so hungry for an opportunity here. They want to work, they want to contribute, mm. and the businesses want to have them. Capital cities are often pushed to capacity, but the regions have up to 60,000 jobs which need filling, and migrants are often the best candidates. The purpose of this inquiry that the committee is conducting is to work out how we get more migrants to go to regional Australia and to stay there. In the Clare Valley, two hours out of Adelaide, one of the great wine growing regions of Australia, an industry that's worth $2 billion to the economy, they can't get vignerons, they can't get chefs for their restaurants, they can't get people to run their cellar doors. If we don't get migrants to fill these jobs, then these industries will fall apart. But red tape is making it increasingly challenging for employers. It's become too hard to employ migrants. Uh, the labour market testing, the minimum salaries that you have to pay migrants. Uh, there are a range of skill categories that you can bring migrants in um, that are decided every few years but aren't keeping pace with what we, what's happening on the ground in regional communities. These are things that our committee is going to look at making some recommendations around uh, because we want to make it easier. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News.